My name's Chaz Bruns, and I travel the world in search of the cheapest food, hostels, transportation, and tours so you don't have to. Which means you're going to get to find out some of the best places in the world to eat, some of the best people in the world to meet, Howdy, partner. and where to go to have a damn good time. And the best part is, I'm going to show you how to do it all dirt cheap. Looking for a top-of-the-line dugout or one-hitter? Look no further than the DiggerOneHitter.com. Sleek and rugged with a one-of-a-kind patented design. It's the best you'll ever use. Costa Rica. Land of lush, beautiful, exotic jungles. And iguanas. Ugly and majestic at the same time. We're flying into San Jose and then heading down to Manuel Antonio National Park. I wish it wasn't so, but to get to Manuel Antonio is a three and a half hour bus ride. And of course there are taxis, but we're going really far. I suggest using Costa Rica driver or Interbus. They range between $50 and $75 depending on your pickup location. It's a beautiful ride and you get to stop for souvenirs and crocodiles. You heard right, there's crocodiles. Big ones. Like 15 to 20 feet long kind of big. I got a banana for lunch for 17 cents and decided to share it with the crocs. Who knew Costa Rican crocodiles were vegetarian? Blew my mind. Just kidding. He totally spit it out. We got into Manuel Antonio just in time for sunset. Beautiful. We're staying at the Beach Packer Hostel for 25 bucks a night or $12.50 a person. Comes with a nice little porch, two separate beds, and a private bathroom. It's only a 60 second walk to the beach and comes with free breakfast. Speaking of the beach, I'm heading back to check out the tail end of the sunset. So far, I'm liking Costa Rica. Jira said he was getting hungry, so we headed over to the Karahi restaurant. They had a disco ball and a pool, so I was a fan. And just like the Indonesia episode, I'm totally tagging along on another wedding. Our friend Johnny the groom is currently nowhere to be found, so I'm having a beer with his dad. Cheers. There's a live band and happy hour is buy one get one free. So I'm totally double fisting it. And since my lunch only cost 17 cents, I splurged on this salad. Costa Ricans like to live healthy, so for this episode, I'm going vegetarian. Jira, on the other hand, is not. And he's pissed off he didn't get to go to Indonesia with me, so he's refusing to let me interview him about his spaghetti. After dinner, we headed to Jolly Roger Bar and Casino. They have an adult-sized set of Jenga blocks. I totally thought Melissa had it in the bag, but apparently Johnny is a Jenga master. Look at that skill. True professional. Against my better judgment, I doubled down on my bet against him. Melissa really let me down. Good thing I only bet 50 cents. Wow. Speaking of betting, time to go into the casino. If gambling's your thing, swing on by Jolly Roger. You never know, you might win big. I just won 10 cents. See, this is why you want to come, because you win money here. I hate this game. Why do people do this? He quickly changed his tune after a big win. I won $2.75. I'm cashing out. Oh my god. <laughs> Now it's time for some Costa Rica facts. The population is 4.9 million people, they host more than 5% of the world's biodiversity, and their major religion is Catholicism. Fruit and pancakes for free. Oh my love, it's a beautiful day. Hop in the car and we'll drive away. We'll find a beach with the white sandy dunes. We got iced coffee from Karahi Hotel and sat on the beach. Sunny days, sunny days. Jason says I'll cross the bay. Sunny days, sunny days. And nothing feels better than a sunny day. Costa Rica is amazing. Um, my favorite part about it is definitely the beach. The waves are incredible. You by my side, you brown skin in the sun. Nobody better, you're the loveliest one. 
Can't think of anything I'd rather do Soak up the sun and to be with you Sunny days, sunny days Let your cares all drift away Sunny days, sunny days I don't miss Maine right now. Well, nothing feels better than a sunny day The beach is like so beautiful and the locals are really nice. Never seen anything so beautiful. So I was spending all day at the beach. What is it? Chicken? Bit marlin. I really wanted to eat it, but I'm vegetarian for real this episode. Just like the local iguanas. And you know what? I got stuck between two iguanas leaving my room this morning. They really are everywhere. But don't worry about it. They're more afraid of you than you are of them. Just steer clear of the big ones with wings that breathe fire, and you'll be just fine. Time for some grub. I'm quickly learning eating vegetarian isn't cheap, but I'll do my best to find some good deals. No more hot dogs for me. Being healthy. Although I definitely stole a few fries when Jerry went to the bathroom. After lunch, we walked around and did some shopping. Nothing really caught my eye, but if you're looking for souvenirs, you might want to swing by. They had glasses for five bucks, and some jewelry as cheap as a dollar. And unlike some places in South and Central America, they don't really like to haggle here. So, just pay what they ask. We got back to the hotel just in time for sunset. It was so beautiful, I'd even consider getting married here. But it looks like Johnny and Mary beat me to it. With all the love in the air, we decided it was time to drink, and skip down the ocean holding hands with our new friend Cody. Cause, why not? Grabbing dinner down the street at Cantina Barbecue. You could take a cab from the hostel, but it's a nice walk. The whole restaurant is surrounded by jungle. Kinda reminded me of Jurassic Park. Hopefully, nothing comes out of the woods. This is the first time I've ever seen a fern that big. <laughs> that was Cody. He really likes dinosaurs. The food here is delicious. Lots of meats to choose from. We got a delicious healthy salad. My mom would be very disappointed in my table manners. I somehow forgot how to chew. After dinner we danced to live music and then we headed over to Selena to drink by their pool. I love Selena. Cody and I told Callie if she went in, we'd go too. And she called our bluff. So in we went, along with my wallet that I forgot to take out of my pocket. Gonna start off day three with a song called Love Buzz from Cody's band, Ghost Kitty. One, two, three, four. Costa Rica, living entirely on smoothies and local pharmaceuticals. Hey. You want to be vegan? Tequila! Got a veggie burger? Life's good. I'm going to eat it with the knife. Right in it. I'm such an idiot. Don't judge us. It was open bar at the wedding, so we still might be a little drunk. And by might be, I mean we are. Time to go walk it off at the Manuel Antonio National Park. It's just a few minutes down the road from the hostel and costs $16 to get in. The path was so easy, your grandma could do it. And there was wildlife everywhere. Digging for nuts. Like these. I don't know what it is. I like these monkeys better than the ones in Thailand. They're nicer. They never once showed me their fangs or tried to steal my camera, and they let me get as close as I wanted. And obviously, don't feed or touch the wildlife, but if they're following you around, there's not much you can do about it. These raccoons were super thirsty and they were smart enough to know we had a water bottle. They were also being supervised by a nearby tour guide. New friend. So we were safe. But seriously, don't feed or touch them. 
Not only is it against park rules, but if one of them bites you, you're gonna be spending your vacation in the emergency room getting rabies shots. It's like 100 degrees. They're thirsty. That was awesome. Excuse me. Now I can't drink this. gotta be quiet we just found a sloth I don't know why I was nervous about being loud he was 200 feet up in a tree and not moving at all he wasn't going anywhere at the end of the jungle path you come down to Gimela speech we've got the whole damn beach to ourselves well besides the iguanas and herbic crabs they're everywhere After a few hours in the park, we headed over to Altamar. It's just down the street from our hostel and has a view of the ocean. I got rice and vegetables for 688. Plantains. It was our last day here and we wanted to spend it on the beach. I went back to my favorite tree and before I knew it, it was time for dinner. Emilio's Cafe. People were literally lined up back to the door to watch the flamenco dancing. They were great. It's not super cheap here, but the entertainment is worth it. And the vegetable curry was delicious. We got a cab back to the beach for three bucks. We're doing a beach bonfire. Dollar beers, beach bonfire, not a bad way to end the episode. Tomorrow morning, Jira and I are heading up to the Monteverde Cloud Forest, so make sure to check out that episode. And as always, remember, you can do this too. Now do it again oh, because it yeah do it again now. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god, you have to do it again because it keeps focusing. Okay. All right, do it again. I think we need to be right where you are. We have to well, be right. Now you're right. perfect. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Woke up Cheers. 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 Costa Rica, baby. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Costa Rica, baby. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Costa Rica, Costa Rica. baby. Crossing Utah Small price to be on the road No one telling me what's not okay Gonna be fine Nothing to lose